why we're telling people to go home with no treatment and no real instructions on when to come back to the hospital. Well, that, that's just completely the opposite of how we've ever managed a disease process. I think it's all political. So I wonder if this had taken place in 2019, would it be as bad? The debate over loosening those stay-at-home orders is taking a dramatic turn tonight. The social isolation, of course, is incredibly profound. It's used in concentration camps. Dr. Fauci has flip-flopped so often. Do not wear masks. So that was from Fauci, <laughs> that was from everybody. Why were we told it later in the spring to wear them when we initially were told not to? Anxiety is through the roof for these small children that really cannot process the information. It borders on child abuse. I think it's cruel and unusual punishment for locking down people in nursing homes when we could be prophylaxing them. Fear, in my opinion, from day one has been driving this pandemic. Weeks ago, the FBI, they broke down my door. I was taken away to jail in handcuffs. The entire time we've been going through this since March, we've had treatment for this disease. And some of the studies coming out are designed to fail. They give the wrong dose, they give it too late. They poorly designed the trials over and over, wrong dose, wrong time, wrong patients. We've gone from misinformation to an active disinformation campaign to full-on censorship. That's, that's the censorship thing. I mean, Rolling Stone magazine did an article about us, slamming us. That they were censoring it. And they were literally saying, you know, this information could be dangerous to my community. And I thought, well, who are these fact checkers? I mean, you know, I spent 10 hours referencing this document. It is science.